Comedy Playhouse would like to present the alternative version to t- Was the Night After Christmas. <coughs> it was the night after Christmas, and all for the house, not a creature was stirring except for a mouse. The stockings were flung in haste over the chair. The hopes of St. Nicholas were no longer there. The children were restless, tossing in bed, for a pie and candy were heavy as lead. And Mamma in her handkerchief, I and my gown, had just decided we would not lie down. When out of the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my chair to see what was the matter. Away and to the window, I went for a dash, with a dash. I opened a shutter and threw up the sash. A moon and a breast of new fallen snow gave lust of noonday to objects below. When what my long anxious eyes should appear, not a horse or sleigh, both old fashioned and queer, a little old driver so solemn and slow. I you knew at once it must be Dr. Barrow. I drew in my head and was turning around. When up came the doctor with scarcely a sound. He wore a thick overcoat made long ago. The beard of his chin was white with snow. He spoke a few words and went straight to his work. He felt all the pulses. They turned with a jerk. Laying his finger aside of his nose, with a nod of his head to the chimney he goes, a spoonful of oil, if you have it handy. No nuts, no raisins, no pies, no candy. There's tender your stomachs cannot well digest. All the sweets that they, give, they get, toys and books, are the best. For I know my vice will not find many friends. A custom of Christmas, the other way tends. A fathers and mothers and Santa Claus too are seemingly blind. Well, good night to you. I heard him exclaim. He drove out of sight. Those feasts of candies make dots as bill right. <laughs>